Hello, lovely people of the world, this is Gear to you, and welcome to another Tier Maker video. Now, the time I'm recording this video, I haven't seen how well the Let's Play Tier List video has done, so I don't know if anybody actually cares about these, but I want to make another one because Legend of Zelda had recently celebrated its 35th anniversary, and because it's my favorite video game series of all time, I want to make a Tier List because I like making Tier Lists, and the timing is just convenient. So this is a template that I made myself and a link to it will be in the description below if you'd like to check this out. So without further ado, let's get this started. So let's start off with the easy ones. Let's start with ones I haven't played yet. So even though I've played like five minutes of Zelda 2, I haven't played enough of it to really know how I feel about it yet. So I'm gonna put it there. And I have not played Oracle of Ages yet. I've heard it's the best of the Oracle games. I don't know if that's true or not but uh, I've heard it's pretty good, I just haven't played it yet. I have not played Phantom Hourglass, at least not a whole lot of it. I did play a few minutes of it, like Zelda 2, but that was at a friend's house uh, a long time ago. I don't remember much of it aside from what I watched from Drunk Henry's That's Play, so I'm gonna put it in there because I don't really remember what, I don't really remember much from it. So let's organize these by the order that I'd want to play them in. So, Oracle of Ages, again, I've heard great things about that one, and I'm going to leave Phantom Hourglass in the back because I've heard it's basically just Spirit Tracks, but worse, <laughs> so I'm going to leave it in, in the back. And now let's go on to Masterpieces, the ones that are my personal favorite. So, Link's Awakening is definitely number one. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is my favorite video game of all time, alongside Earthbound and Splatoon 2 and Xenoblade and things like that. It's my number one favorite game ever, so it has to be number one. Other ones that I'd put up there too would definitely be Majora's Mask. Again, that's my favorite 3D Zelda game ever, alongside Breath of the Wild. I go back and forth whether or not I like that one more or this one, but as for right now, because we're doing the Let's Play, I'm gonna put Breath of the Wild at number two, and Majora's Mask um, after that, but by the time that I go to edit this video, this is probably gonna be switched. <laughs> and number four is probably gonna be a very unpopular opinion, but it has to be Skyward Sword. I love The Legend of Zelda Scoured Sword. It is one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm really excited that it's finally getting the Switch remake that it deserves. Now, I do understand that most of the controls are not for everybody, but I really love the combat system, and I was really bummed out at the thought that we may never be able to see something like it again, but we are with the Zelda remake, and it's gonna be awesome. I just love Skyward Sword so much. I love the story, the music is amazing, as my favorite version of Link and Zelda. It's just amazing. So that's everything that I had to put in Masterpiece, so let's move on to... Let's go with May now, um, and go with the ones that I don't really particularly care that much for. So, I'm not a big fan of Four Swords. It is a good game, don't get me wrong. It is Actually, you know, I'm gonna put it in... No, I'm gonna leave it in May. I'm gonna leave it down there because I do think it's a fun game, but it's best played multiplayer, and that's kind of hard to do nowadays. And... Also, Triforce Heroes has to be my bottom, has to be the very bottom, because it has a lot of the same problems that Four Swords does, but worse, because at least Four Swords is enjoyable by herself, but Triforce Heroes is, uh, is like torture. <laughs> You're playing as three characters and there's no way you can have um, all move at the same time. You have to control each and every single one of them separately to get through the most basic of areas. It is painful and torturous, and it's really just best enjoyed with multiplayer, but it is really hard to do that because it is only multiplayer with exactly three people. So yeah, Triforce Heroes is one that I really don't care that much for. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot of other Zelda games that I had to put in the... Actually, I'm going to put Four Sword in good-ish, because I did enjoy playing through that game. But yeah, that's... Triforce Heroes is already the only one that I'd say is just meh. And uh, next I would put... Is there anything else I'd put in good-ish? I don't really think so. Uh, so let's move on to Epic Awesomeness. Uh, Wind Waker would definitely be up there. I really enjoy Wind Waker, even with the last um, third of the game. Again, it take a long time to get through. I'm not that big of a fan of the very last part of the game, but everything before that is so good. I love the Wind Waker. Um, what's another good one? I'm gonna put a link to the, a link between worlds um, and a link to the past. I'm gonna put in goodish, at the very top of goodish. Now, I don't rank it any higher because my problem with the game is that I didn't grow up with it. 
which is weird because I kind of did. This was the second game that I played in the series. I played the Game Boy Advance version, but I just could never get far into the game um, because I was just completely bad at it. And the fact that whenever I did play that game, I was like, this is good and all, but I'd rather just be playing Link's Awakening right now. And everything that I do think Link to the Past does do well. I think future Zelda games do better, especially Link Between Worlds. So it's probably a sin that I'm ranking it so low, and I do apologize for that. It's just my personal opinion. I'm going to go ahead and put the first Zelda game in good-ish as well, because it is also a good game, but it's also kind of outdated with gameplay and things like that. Um, and it's another Link to, the, Link to the Past situation where everything that does well, or the future Zelda games did better. So... Now, let's put, I'm going to put uh, Cadence of Hyrule in great. Now, the reason for that, and I'm not ranking any higher or lower, is because it is a phenomenal game. I do really enjoy the gameplay of it, and the rhythm is just so fun. But I barely count it as Zelda. It's more of a Crypt of the Necrodancer remake. But I put it on here because I do enjoy the game. So, Cadence of Hyrule is going to be in here. It is a great game. It's just... Don't think of it as a Zelda game when you play through it, even if it does have a lot of similarities. I read, really, actually, you know what? Kings of Hyrule, one thing I really do love about it that I wish that they do for the main series is the randomized dungeons. I think that is a brilliant idea. So, that's the reason why it's going to be at, towards the top of the great tier. Now, I'm going to put Minish Cap between A Link to the Past and Four Swords. Now, <laughs> I might not, but a lot of people might get mad at me for that one, because I've heard a lot of people already enjoy that one. I just had to put it there, because whenever I play through that game, I get kind of annoyed with how restrictive the overworld is, because, like, I want to explore this world, but it feels like every turn, it feels just so limiting with how much I can actually do. So I am going to have to put it there. Now, it is a very good game, and I'm sure I could get more into it if I kept trying to play through it, um, but whenever I get into the mood to play another 2D Zelda game, it's usually something else that becomes more of a priority. And speaking of 2D Zelda games, I'm going to put Spirit Tracks in Epic Awesomeness. Yeah, I really like this game. <laughs> now, this is something that I liked a lot more when I was a kid, um, and as I've gotten older, I've realized the problems with this game, but honestly, I don't care. I like Spirit Tracks. <laughs> I do wish that they would have some kind of remaster on modern systems that could allow you to control with buttons and things like that, like what they're doing Skyward Sword, because I do know that there's a lot of people out there who just can't do the touch controls, and that's perfectly, um, that's perfectly fine, um, but... I do wish that something like that would happen, but with that in mind, I do still really enjoy Spirit Tracks. Uh, I'm going to put Twilight Princess here too. Now, I have complained about this over the years, um, because Twilight Princess is, I say that is like one of my lesser favorite Zelda games out there, um, but it's still a really good game. Um, Ocarina of Time, I'm going to put barely behind. Actually, I'm going to put these in the next tier down alongside Gains of Hyrule, because these are really good games. Um, Ocarina of Time is really phenomenal, but it's the only 3D Zelda game that I've never beaten, so I don't really feel good ranking it any higher. And Twilight Princess, I do have a lot of problems with that one. I think the overworld is just not really that fun to explore. It's a lot of empty stuff with... The only real thing to do in the overworld is to look for the bugs for Agatha and things like that. And there's, of course, heart pieces here and there, but... I think this is where... They were kind of losing their focus when it comes to making good overworld and things like that. So, yeah, this is one that I do have some problems with. And I really wish that they went further in, in addressing them in the Wii U version. Maybe with the Switch version. <laughs> now, Oracle of Ages, I'm going to put at the very top of good-ish. Now, this is a game that has a lot of really good ideas. It is impressive that there are four versions of the overworld in one game. It is honestly really impressive. I'm ranking. I'm not ranking any higher though because I just have a hard time getting into this one. Um, so this will probably be ranked higher as the years go on as I play through the game more. But I gotta rank it um, about here. And Forza Adventures, I'm gonna rank at the back of great. Now I haven't played too far into Forza Adventures and I haven't played it at all multiplayer, but. This is so much fun. <laughs> um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to rank it higher. I'm going to rank it great. 
And it might seem weird to rank four sword adventures higher than Twilight Princess, but this is honestly how I feel. I think this game honestly has the best sprite art in any Zelda game ever. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it is so fun to play through. I really enjoy Four Star Adventures. <laughs> and now for these last two. These are hard to rank. Um, I'm going to... I want to put in an epic awesomeness, because... The thing with this game is, it's basically like the Avengers of Zelda. You have pretty much every 3D Zelda game come together before Breath of the Wild come together for one big grand epic adventure. And it's really, really cool. My problem is that it's repetitive as heck, so I want to put it in epic awesomeness, but I'm going to put it in great instead. Now, actually, you know what? I'm going to put Spare Tracks down here as well, um, because I do enjoy that game, but um, yeah, I, d I don't think it would be alongside these two. Uh, no, I'm going to leave it up there. <laughs> I go back and forth so much when it comes to these things. I um, mean, Age of Calamity, I want to put barely behind the original Halo Warriors. Now, the reason for that is because I do think Age of Calamity does address a lot of the problems I had with the original game, but there's a lot of minor things here and there that just kind of barely keep it below the original for me. Like, for one, it's only Breath of the Wild, so that's a bit of a weird thing to go from one game that has a bunch of Zelda games in it to one that only has one. Now, Breath of the Wild definitely is big enough to be its own Hyrule Warriors game. It's just that it's a little weird to go from that. So one and one minor thing that really bothers me is that there's no victory in Mason when you complete a level. Like you have some really fun ones in the Wii U game, but you don't have any of that in Age of Calamity. Maybe they'll include them during the DLC or things like that. And I'm also not ranking it that much higher because it's still getting active DLC, so things are added later in the game may bump it up higher, but as it is right now, this is it. I'm satisfied with where it is right now. That said, I think the story is much better. It is a much better story than the original Hyrule Warriors, and it is so... I don't even want to talk about that much, because it is something best experienced blind. So, you know, actually, just because of the story, I'm going to rank it higher than the original Hyrule Warriors. And this is my tier list. So, in Masterpiece, we have Link's Awakening, Breath of the Wild, Majora's Mask, and Scoured Sword. Epic Awesomeness, we have The Wind Wigger, A Link Between Worlds, and Spirit Tracks. In Great, we have Age of Calamity, The Original Hyrule Warriors, Four Star Adventures, Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, and Cadence of Hyrule. In Good-ish, we have Oracle Seasons, we have A Link to the Past, we have The Minish Cap, Four Swords, and The Original Zelda. And in Meh, we have Triforce Heroes, and the only ones that I have not played yet are Oracle of Ages, Zelda 2, and Phantom Hourglass. So thank you all so much for watching this video for the Legend of Zelda tier list. I absolutely love the Zelda series, and it is one of my personal goals to let's play every 3D Zelda game ever. So, after we finish Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time are the only ones left. Until Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. <laughs> But on screen right now, we're going to have uh, some additional tier lists from people who have replied to stuff on Twitter. So if anybody sent me anything like that, then you're getting shots right now, so thank you all so much. And if there is no one, and if not a single one was submitted, then I'm just going to have a gif of Lana from Hyrule Warriors on screen, because I absolutely love Lana. She's so cute. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video for a just a tier list, and until next time, we'd gear to you.